everyone, hope you had a good weekend. So this is kind of a mini tour um, of the slog. Basically, there's absolutely no chance the map is finished tonight, but I've been doing loads of work on it. Um, and I thought maybe, rather than just not uploading a video, I'd upload a video because I've actually done, near more or less completed the pool area. And it looks really cool. And I want to show you. Um, it's going to be a short one, so I won't use up too much of your time. Um, if you guys want me to do these more often, by the way, because I'm... Often when I haven't finished an area, I'm like, I'm not going to upload anything. However, it might be cool if you want to just see what I'm currently working on. Um, let me know in the comments. There will only be a couple of minutes long. So here is my pool. So loads of details I do need to add. However, I'm really pleased with what I've done so far. So basically, just starting from start, I, I did actually glitch in. Because these stupid stairs were floating and everyone kept pointing it out. Yes, yes, I did notice. I just haven't got around to doing it yet. Um, so the first thing is I I wanted to separate um, the area out into kind of separate rooms. One second. Let me ring the stupid bell. Because these guys keep trying to talk to me while I'm recording this. And it's bloody annoying because they actually have set dialogue and they won't shut the fuck up. Anyway, so I basically organized the settlement into these kind of... I wanted it to be in quadrants, basically. These aren't defensive walls. The whole purpose of these is just to kind of give you a feeling like you're passing into a different section. You know, it's like a normal settlement. They've just kind of naturally organised it themselves. Um, it's quite fun to do, actually. I just use the pillar glitch to kind of just glitch various elements together so it looks quite scrappy. Put railings on the top of the boards. When I see there's one over there as well, where I'm blocking up various gaps in the fence. It just looks quite quite funky and I'm also gonna I'm gonna light all of these up and there'll be signs everywhere so it'll be very very cool now um the whole premise for this one because there's not much building space um I wanted to kind of add my own detail even when maybe detail isn't necessary and this nothing's more apparent than this you know, it's completely superfluous to be honest we've got the steps however I just wanted a player made ramp into the pool you may notice as well that I've actually surrounded it with a a low fence as well so this is the only way in and out of the pool um it's quite simple to do really you know i just kind of use the pillar glitch to sink these three platforms into the steps then again with these railings here snapped on some ramps i actually did use the double railing for I think the third time i've ever done it because it just fit underneath there and a couple of posts for just pillar and then I've just popped them in there as well. It looks really, really nice. I did also, as you can see, add a few more extra lights onto the side. I might see about maybe putting some lights inside the pool as well. Um, but I'm worried they might electrocute people. I don't know, it just looks a little bit nicer. Lit up. Um, over this side here. Nope, this side here. Let's show you the fish tank first. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> I love this so much. <laughs> So basically, um, because I've started with it in my generators, I've started kind of protecting them, basically, surrounding them by structure. You know, the idea of them kind of being protected by the elements. And this one, I really call it surrounded by the glass from the greenhouse tab. And I was making it, I was like, oh. So I took the, the, the front off and put some of the cycle lights um, and changed the colour to blue. And I thought, oh, and then I put some <laughs> disco balls. And it just basically looks like a giant fish tank. Um, so this is the fish tank. <laughs> oh, it makes me happy. It looks so good. Um, and I've got my little tiki bar over here. Um, this is basically where my settlers come and chill. I'm going to have an actual main bar over there. Um, this one's actually sunk really far into the ground. So I might not actually assign anyone to this. The idea is it's kind of like a, a kind of self-service bar. Um, special shout out to the Wasteland Doverkin. Uh, she actually tweeted me um, a video of this little technique here. You can actually use the supports... Um, from the ball track tab um, and I didn't realize you can actually attach posters to them um, but especially these actual posters with the lights um, I'll link in the description um, to the the video where she actually shows you how to do this but it's just a funky she has quite a lot um, I went for my retweets the day and I realized a lot of the funky little techniques I retweet from her so give her a check her out and if you like what she does definitely subscribe um, another technique that I started doing you may notice this is actually lit up, is um, I don't want to overuse it because it does tend to make the light a little bit weird. Um, but basically, there's actually a small spotlight, and then I basically just use the pillar glitch to just sink it into the ground. Because I always find that I like using spotlights. There's a spotlight under there, see, as well. 
I like using spotlights to light up areas, but at the same time it just looks a little bit messy having loads of little spotlights on the floor, so you can just sink them into the ground. But just don't abuse it, because like I've done this because it looks like maybe the nuclear coal machine is actually lit up naturally. Um, but it can look a little bit weird if you know you've got light where there's there's no freaking light basically but there you go this is just what i've been doing today um i've also been questing those of you who follow me twitter know this but i finally got strong to idolized because i could never be asked so happy <laughs> um i'll try and have the finished tour of this up tomorrow if i can because there's not really much i need to do now it's mostly just this was the major kind of like should we say demanding decoration because i had to really think right what the fuck can i do here to make it look cool all right anyway oh and only a few more days until the vault tech workshop dlc which i'm very excited about anyway you guys enjoy the rest last couple of hours of your weekend um and i'll talk to you tomorrow take care